My name is Sabrina Romanov, and this is the first video in my course, ChatGPT for Beginners. By the end of this course, you will be fluent in using ChatGPT for everyday tasks from work to productivity to creativity and content generation. We're going to start from the very beginning, starting with what is ChatGPT? How do you install it? How do you use it? How do you start a conversation? First, what is ChatGPT? You can think of ChatGPT as an advanced AI chatbot developed by the company OpenAI, and it's designed to engage in natural language conversations, just talking back and forth, which means that you can interact with it just like you're talking to a friend or colleague. And it's in the name itself, ChatGPT. Chat refers to the conversational nature of the interaction, and GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. All this means is it's a type of AI that has been trained on a vast, vast amount of text data in order to understand and then generate human-like responses in that conversational interaction. And it's been trained on data including books, articles, text sources, websites, all up to its knowledge cutoff of October 2023. And ChatGPT is used for a wide range of tasks and use cases today, including knowledge base Q&A, like being able to chat with your data or your knowledge base, summarizing text, generating text, for example, for content creation. ChatGPT also has multimodal models available, which means the models can understand audio, images, and text. It can also be used for sentiment analysis, translation, understanding text within images, data analysis. For example, you can upload a spreadsheet and ask ChatGPT to analyze it. You can upload other types of documents as well, such as PDFs, research papers, etc. And so there are many, many use cases for ChatGPT today. It's incredibly versatile, incredibly flexible, and it's a pretty major upgrade from traditional chatbots, which were much more rigid. And that's because ChatGPT has been trained on massive, massive, mind-blowing amounts of textual data. And so it's able to answer questions intelligently about all sorts of topics. This is something that traditional chatbots were not able to do very effectively. And another awesome plus is ChatGPT works in multiple languages. You can ask it a question in English and then translate it to three other languages. Now in this video series, mostly focusing on ChatGPT for individual use, for example, using it through the web app or its mobile app, but you can also integrate ChatGPT through the API into products that you're building. And that enables your users to benefit as well from the advanced natural language understanding and interaction. Overall, ChatGPT represents a pretty significant step function advancement in AI capabilities. It's much more versatile and flexible than traditional chatbots, and it can be used for dozens and dozens of use cases spanning work and productivity to creativity, data analysis, and more. And just a quick side note that many people talking about AI today are referring to generative AI, such as ChatGPT, but AI has actually been around for many decades. You can think of ChatGPT as a specific model trained using a subset of techniques in AI. So there's AI, and then there's machine learning, a subset of AI. Then there's deep learning, an even smaller subset of machine learning. And then within deep learning is generative AI. And ChatGPT falls within that bucket. People may use the terms AI and ChatGPT interchangeably, but just keep in the back of your mind that they are referring to two different things. AI as a field is pretty massive and it's been around for decades. ChatGPT is using newer techniques such as deep learning and generative AI. 